Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Cheryl and on this channel we talk about all things beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So if you're interested in any of those things, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss another video. I wanted to share with you a couple of items that I picked up from a pop-up shop that I went to a couple of weeks ago. So if you would like to see the items that I picked up, please keep watching. So like I said, I went to a pop-up shop a couple of weeks ago and I shopped with the vendor who goes by the name of Curated Boxes on Instagram and I'll be sure to link that information down below. And I picked up a couple of jewelry pieces and she also gifted me a couple of pieces a while ago that I'm gonna share with you first. And then I like those pieces so much that I did attend her table at the pop-up shop and I picked up a couple of other pieces and then I also picked up some pieces that I gave away as birthday gifts. So I want to share those pieces with you because I think they are such great quality, really, really nice and very unique. So it's not gonna be too often that you're going to see somebody who's going to be wearing these same pieces. So I wanted to share those jewelry pieces with you first and then I'll finish off the video of sharing with you a bag that I picked up. So let's go ahead and talk about the jewelry pieces that were gifted to me. So she gifted me three jewelry pieces and the first piece of jewelry are these cross earrings and they are large. Very, very large but I like how they look i'm not going to put them on because i already have on earrings but you can just imagine how they will look with like a really simple plain outfit you can dress these up you can dress them down and i just think they're going to be a great statement piece when i wear them so i love these gold crosses and then she sent me these pairs of silver earrings they're kind of like sun rays is what I like to call them and I just think that they look really really nice on the face too if you wanted to wear like a really plain and simple outfit and you wanted your jewelry to be the statement pieces so these are the two pairs of earrings that she sent me and then she also sent me this charm necklace that has the Chanel number no. five crystal pendant and then it's really nice lengthy rope chain it is such a good quality see it's not dainty at all it's really really nice quality the charm is nice and heavy has a really good weight to it and it's a good length so you can wear it it's going to be one of your longer necklaces so it's going to be really nice to wear with like a t-shirt or a button down shirt so a really nice necklace that i am happy to have in my collection and i have already worn this and i thought it looked really nice with my outfit and then the other two pieces that I picked up are another pair of statement earrings. And I picked these up in silver. And they have the little clasp here that you can take apart and then snap back in. So really nice. So a really nice pair of hoop earrings that are on the bigger side if you're looking for like a statement earring. And I'm also trying to incorporate a lot more of the chunkier necklaces into my collection because most of my necklaces are really dainty and cute and I wanted to get something a little more bold and chunky so I picked up this gold heart necklace that has the link chain and then it has a charm here and then it has the large hoop charm that has love in the middle of it so I thought this was really nice I've also worn this necklace too and I really love the look of it I did receive a couple of compliments when I was wearing this necklace so really nice buy with the jewelry like I said I picked up two other pieces of jewelry that I gifted as birthday gifts one was a pair of statement flower earrings that the person loved who received those as a gift. And then the other set of earrings were some really dainty heart earrings that's perfect for like your everyday jewelry. And the person who received those really loved those earrings as well. So the jewelry is really nice quality. I feel like it's very unique. You're not gonna see a lot of people wearing these pieces. So if you're interested in checking her out, I will leave her information down in the description box 
below. So these are all of the jewelry pieces. Let's move on to the final item that I picked up. Now, the last item that I picked up, if you watched my last video, I shared with you my work tote collection. And I mentioned in that video that I'm not really your typical tote girl. I prefer to use them as my work bag because I think that it holds the items that I need for work a lot easier versus me carrying it every day or as my personal bag because I just don't feel like it fits my lifestyle in that way. But while I was at the pop-up shop, I did come across this bag right here which is very similar to a tote bag. I was drawn to the way that it looks. They did have two of these. They had the one that has this little flap right here, and then they had a second one that came without the flap, so it was just like a true tote bag that looked like this. And I was very drawn to the one with the flap for whatever reason. And I was told that this was a work bag. You can use it to carry like your laptop, you know, whatever you need it for work. But that's not what I intend to use it for because I just think it's just a little bit big for me to carry to work each day. Thought that it would be better suited for me as a travel bag because when I'm traveling, like I said, I don't usually carry totes and then I just don't feel like I have enough space in my handbags to carry the items that I need or I'm able to reach in them really easily and pull out things that I might need at that moment. So when I saw this, I my mind immediately went to this would be a perfect travel bag so let's go ahead and talk about the details of this bag and then i'll tell you how i plan on using it so for the details this is a 100 percent leather bag so really really good quality it has really nice stitching as you can see all the way around and it has the brand embroidered all over the bag on the front and the back and the bottom which I really like. I feel like the print is very muted and understated, so it's not too flashy or anything like that. So I really like the look of it. And the brand is called Demi Bay and it's also Instagram. So I'll be sure to leave that information down in my description box below. And I just thought the branding looked really nice on this handbag, so I don't mind it at all. It does come with these brass handles and it also comes with an adjustable strap and i just have mine on the shortest setting and the best feature of this bag is that it comes with feet at the bottom so you're going to protect the bottom of the bag when it's sitting on the floor and then like i said it does have the flap for this particular bag the other one did not have the flap but i love the look of this one and if you wanted to add a little bit more security to your bag that is what this is for so you open up the flap it does have these magnetic closures there and then on the inside the interior is this raw leather, which I thought is really nice. It gives the bag a lot of character. And there's also another little flap that you can snap close if you wanted to protect your bag even more. If you wanted to protect the items in your bag even more. Then you have your clasp here for the removable strap if you wanted to just carry it as a tote bag. And then another feature of the bag is that it comes with an additional pouch you know how i am obsessed with pouches you can never have enough pouches so i love that this bag comes with a separate pouch if you wanted to put like your personal items in here your wallet your cards your phone or anything that you wanted to like keep separate and just grab quickly you have this really large pouch to carry those items in and on the inside of the pouch you have a slip pocket there and then you also have a zipper compartment in the back so plenty of space for storage and it comes with a zipper closure that has a leather tab right there what i would have liked to see with this pouch are some d-rings where you can attach a strap to it and wear it like a crossbody or something like that if you wanted to wear it by itself doesn't have that but nonetheless it is a nice bag and i did carry this little pouch by itself last week and i it was perfect for me i went to dinner after work and i needed to you know like freshen up a bit so i just had everything that i needed in this pouch i was able to go to the bathroom and freshen up and head to dinner so this was absolutely perfect for what i needed it for so this is a great feature that comes with the handbag and on the inside of the handbag if you can see it's just a really large open space it doesn't have any interior pockets or anything like that it's just a big 
open space so and it's really deep like you see how tall the bag is so the space is really really deep and I like it I really like it a lot and I'm excited to see how this is going to carry when I use it for travel I'm really looking forward to carrying this on my trip this weekend so I'll be sure to report back to you and let you know how that worked out for me the way that I'm planning on using this bag is carrying um, like a smaller crossbody bag that I have like my passport and personal information inside of that and maybe my phone and lip gloss or whatever inside of that and then I'll probably put my toiletry bags in here and I'll bring a blanket or a sweater because I'm always cold on a plane and I think that would fit nicely in here and then I can have my snacks and whatever else that I'm going to carry with me while I'm traveling that I don't want to put in my carry-on bag that goes in the overhead bin. This bag that I think should fit underneath the seat in front of me. So that is something that I'm going to have to see once we get on the plane. But I think that it should be fine. It should fit underneath the seat. It is very pliable. So if I need to like bend it a little bit to get it to fit underneath the seat, I shouldn't have any issues with doing that. So, so I just wanted to pop on really quickly and show you the items that I picked up from the pop-up shop and then share with you my plans of how I'm going to use this travel bag. So once I come back from my trip, it's gonna be a really quick one. Then I'll report back to you and give you my thoughts on this bag and let you know if it worked for me as a travel bag or not. So like I said, I'll leave both of the vendors' names down in the description box below if you want to check them out. But before you leave, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.